Hey guys, Kat here and welcome to my dark lipstick tutorial. In this tutorial I will show you all the tricks and tips you need to achieve this very bold and sexy look. Tools that you will need. Toothbrush. Lipstick. Lip liner. Pressed powder. And a clean applicator. Why do you need a toothbrush, you might be asking. Well, it's to scrub all that nasty ass dead skin off your lips. If you don't do this, very important step, your lipstick will look awful. Um, so get you a little toothbrush, a little hot water, scrub it, done. Um, also make sure your lips are conditioned. Um, put on some chapstick, but don't let it sit on there. You don't want anything glossy, um, oily, nothing like that on your lips when you are applying um, our dark lipstick. Okay, so what I did was scrub my lips and then I put on some chapstick. My favorite is Lip Smackers. I've been using Lip Smackers since I was a kid. Still my favorite. Um, put that on there, let it sit for a couple seconds, wipe it off, and then you're ready to go. So we're going to start with our lip liner. Um, I just have a basic uh, Avon nude color. Um, the Lip liner is extremely important. This will help you uh, prevent feathering around the lip line. It will help you define your lips and will also help keep your lipstick stay perfectly in place all night. Um, it's magic. I don't know how it took me so long to figure this out. So I'm trying to save all you lovely ladies out there a little bit of time. As far as lip liner goes, um, I don't think you need to dole out a bunch of cash for your lip liner. Um, just get something kind of basic, medium grade and you should be just fine with that. Um, so we're going to begin by filling in the lower lip here, starting in the middle. You're going to want to go back and forth to kind of fill in all the little lines that you may or may not have, depending on how old you are, if you smoke. Um, I'm old and I smoke. so. I like to go a little outside my lip line. Um, this will enhance the size of your lips. Now don't uh, don't go crazy with that because uh, you, know, you don't want to look like a clown. Makeup is here to enhance our natural beauty, not to make us look like something we aren't. Okay, there you see the bottom. Next we're going to do the top. Start with your Cupid's bow in the middle. Work your way out. Um, an awesome trick that I learned is start from the bottom and when you go up to the top like this because you will be going with the natural curve as opposed to kind of if you go straight down you might have a tendency to kind of flatten this really pretty line out. So. Start your way from the bottom here. Same on the other side, of course. Really take your time doing this to make sure that you get the shape that you want. Because like I said, once you, uh, you know, if you follow these steps, your lipstick's going to be on all night. It's going to be fabulous. So really take your time doing this. Um, okay, so once your lip liner is done, and you get that kind of 90s Chola effect, you're going to fill in the rest of your lip by turning it sideways, like so. And just kind of fill that area in. lip liner. I can't reiterate how important this is. I mean this locks your shit in place all night girl. Like I said really gently take your time. 
and get that shape that you really want. Next, we're gonna apply our lipstick here. I'm using my number one favorite, Lancome, uh, the In Rouge line. It's $26, but it's completely worth it. Um, a really good lipstick um, will make the world a difference. It'll stay on all night. The color is gorgeous. Um, it doesn't bleed as much. Um, cheap lipstick, uh, I've found that having a handful of really nice lipsticks uh, beats having you know a whole bag full of little crappy ones so really find one that you like and go ahead and dish out a little bit extra cash for a good lipstick okay take your time here practice it took me several months to really kind of figure out what worked best for me figure out how to make it really last and stay on there and look kind of classy because this is a tricky kind of tricky look if you don't really nail it you can look kind of trashy or too gothy okay awesome so my lipstick has set it takes I don't know about 45 seconds I'm going to take my powder my pressed powder here um, I'm using a NARS brand, but I'm sure that any powder will do. This last step is really, really important because it will set your lipstick absolutely all night. Um, and I like it gives a little bit more of a matte effect, which I find to be very sexy. So you're just going to real gently kind of press your powder on there. Um, so there you go. This is your final look. It's going to stay on all night. Uh, people are going to ask you how you did it. The men are going to buy you drinks and um, kids are going to hug you in the street and you'll probably win the lottery.